All right, so the efficiency ratio determines uh, whether a market is uh, trending or range bound by comparing momentum with uh, volatility. So this is a concept that was developed by Perry Kaufman and uh, it's an alternative to uh, the directional movement and the ADX uh, indicators. So this is a 15 uh, minute chart of uh, CL and as you see here the efficiency uh, ratio displays uh, with paint bars. So bars uh, above the chop line and uptrend uh, show up as green and uh, above the chop line in a downtrend show as red whereas these bars that uh, are below the chop line are in this yellow yellow tint here. Um, the output uh, is really uh, dependent on the look back period of course here in a perfect trend where uh, all bars close in the same direction and do not overlap. And you will see these perfect uh, trend readings. Um, the efficiency ratio here has plots on a scale from zero to 100. So a perfect uh, trend will be this 100 level, which is uh, we're pretty close to that over here. And uh, that's because we're using a look back period here of 10 bars. So we're almost getting to 10 consecutive up closes here. And then we get this uh, perfect trend reading. Um, so the threshold here is a pretty uh, pretty neat with uh, with this indicator because uh, that uh, adjusts according to your look back period. So if you have a short look back period, uh, this will have a pretty high threshold. Um, here we have uh, about 25, and on a longer look back period, which we'll just see now, uh, this will automatically just lower. So here we have 72 uh, bars and obviously if you're looking at 72 bars it's difficult to get 72 consecutive uh, up closes or down closes on that so the chop level is automatically adjusted uh, down here to about the 10, 10 level. And um, the indicator also uses a uh, balanced uh, momentum calculation to uh, avoid the dropout effect. So that will uh, remove distortions uh, from the uh, momentum output that you'll see in standard momentum indicators. Uh, basically this uh, comes down to uh, using a triangular moving average. And uh, if you're interested in learning more about that, you can swing by my YouTube channel at Chris Lassen. There's a video on the indicator spotlight that we did on that a few months ago. I think it will be a little bit too much in detail to talk about balanced momentum here today, but it's pretty interesting stuff. So there is a video on that on my YouTube channel, Chris Lassen, so you can look it up if you want to learn more about it.